Welcome to week one, Project Planning, PMGT 5020. Please read chapters one, two, three in the Verzu book and selected readings from the PMBOK. In Canvas, look at module one, so you see the overview, agenda, assignments, and lectures for week one. The assignments include reading, discussions, and a quiz. Don't forget to complete the course readiness agreement as soon as possible. During this week, reflect back on previous classes where they define project management. Here, it's defined as the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. That's what a project manager does. They use various skills, tools, and techniques and they apply them to the context of a project. You should also recall that projects are temporary endeavors that are undertaken to create unique projects, services, or results and take advantage of progressive elaboration. Again, projects are temporary. They're not like operational work that goes on continuously. They create unique projects. Think of building a building, a bridge, writing a textbook, the latest COVID-19 vaccine were all projects. Also recall the project manager role. Primarily, a project manager needs to be a leader. They need to influence the team so that the team will want to follow them. Occasionally, a project manager needs to be a manager and tell the team what needs to be done and by when. Lastly, a project manager is a change agent. We are the ones that produce the big changes in the world through projects. After reading the assigned materials and watching the guest lecture, you should be able to answer the question, why project management? You'll learn that project management is a timeless tool set that has been around for thousands of years. The original aqueducts, the pyramids were all projects. The PMBOK has done an excellent job of collecting all these best practices in one book called the PMBOK. Project managers produce global change. Again, we would not have the latest COVID-19 vaccine if it weren't for many projects that produce several vaccines. We also answer this question through our leadership skill sets. There are a ton of skills that require you to be a negotiator, to be a, a listener, to produce change. We do this by putting people before process. This question can also be answered by, we deliver value. That's what projects produce. We take money from an organization and we apply that money to a project to produce value. That's what the sponsor is asking us to produce, to deliver value. And then lastly, why project management? Because it is both an art and a science. The science aspect has been thoroughly documented in the textbook, in the PMBOK, but the art comes through practice. And you will get to actually practice this skill during this class as part of your course project. Please watch the video on how to manage small projects because you'll be kicking off a project next week where you'll be able to manage a project throughout the course of this class and you'll produce the various planning documents required to do so. In closing, I want to remind you to participate on the discussion boards four times a week, responding to me and your peers, and have fun. Ask questions, read responses, and keep the conversation going all week, not just during the middle of the week. And don't forget about the quiz. Get that completed before the end of the week. Remember, you can contact me at any time, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, thank you for being part of this class. I look forward to our discussions this week.